Hi guys, John Judd here. Today is going to be about linking to controllers, specifically between the relationship of the knob or slider that you're moving on your controller and the actual resulting behavior on the parameter in whatever you're trying to control. Currently, I have the main cutoff of Flex linked to my controller. Let's listen to how the cutoff is affecting the synth patch here. A lot of times, you know, in FL Studio, when you link something to a controller, you actually do something like this. You right click, you hit link to controller, then you just move the knob and it just works. My slider right now is at zero and therefore the cutoff is at zero. And now my slider, I've moved it to the top and the cutoff is now at the max. Something to know about this. The relationship between the input of your slider or knob does not have to be linear. Right now, the relationship is a linear one. What I found on this particular cutoff in this particular patch with this set of notes, the cutoff when pushed way low, it's just too low. It's cutting everything off or most of it. And then when I went too high, it had a tendency to be a little penetrating. What I would prefer to do is go from a value of, let's say, and I picked these values ahead of time, but like 20% or actually 22% and maybe 66%, like somewhere between here and here. Because if we listen, the cutoff, it's cutting most everything off. And up here, it's a little bright for my taste. So I'd prefer that this knob just move between this range. Now, a lot of times you want to actually perform your automation, which I'm a fan of doing. And to have that finite control within the range of your slider could be a pain. So there's a way to maybe tighten up that particular parameter. So it's only able to move between like 22 and 66% rather than having to finagle the slider and try to figure out exactly where things are. So I only want it to move between 22 and 66%. I picked 22 and 66% because that's just where the filter sounded good to me. So here's how we're going to deal with that. We're going to right click this. We're going to hit link to controller. We're going to go over here to the mapping formula. And this is where the relationship can be set. If you see the default, it says input, which means one to one mapping. The relationship is therefore linear. If we go here and we can change things because I wanted 22%. 0.22 plus input. I'm going to put an asterisk here, followed by parentheses 0.66 minus 0.22 parentheses. Basically, what we have is what you want the low range to be plus the input asterisk. Don't forget that. And then in parentheses, your high value which here I'm putting 0.66 minus your low value, 0.22. And now I'm going to move the slider. Now look at that. Right now, my slider right here is at its lowest movement point up here. It's at its highest movement point. But now it's only controlling the value between 22% and 66% of the cutoff. Whereas before it was controlling this whole range. And now that's changed. They have a whole bunch of crazy things you could put in for the mapping formula. To be honest, my math is pretty bad. So I'm not the person to trust. <laughs> so my math is bad, but I think my music knowledge is okay. Trust me that this does work. If you're good at math, you can use that to perhaps change the way that you're using controllers and get cool results. You could use this on just about any parameter that you see inside of FL Studio. So I certainly hope that that helps you tighten your workflow a little bit. And I hope you have a good day. I'll catch you in the next one.